In order to manage your images, go to the top right drop down menu and click File Manager. Here you can see all your GIFs or GIFs if you prefer, your JPEGs and PNG files, they're all here. And you can also upload new images by clicking this button here or you can use Unsplash, Giphy, your Google Drive or just input a URL. I especially like Unsplash because it's very easy to use if you're looking for a beautiful image. Just type it in, click enter, and you can always find something beautiful. And whatever you type in here, you'll usually find what you're what you need. I'm going to go with this one. Of course, you can check box more than one, click import, and your images are being imported over here. You can use the copy URL button uh, if you want to share that image with someone and then someone can just right click and download that image or save that image to their computer. This is how it works. You can also create folders. Here is a new folder. I can create an even newer, even newer one. Folder, click save. And then if you check these boxes, you can start putting these images into that folder. You can just move to the even newer folder or you can delete these images. You can also select all the images by clicking this box here. And if you click this again, then it will uncheck all these images. So that's basically it. You can close this over here. You can also sort all these files by the newest, by the name, by the largest and smallest files. You can also view the files as a list instead of as a gallery, like so. So that's the main way of accessing all your files and uh, the way where you can actually download, delete, move these files. Now, another way of doing it is by just going to campaigns, for example, and I'm saying, for example, because this will also work in forums and sites, in the automation, wherever you have an image, this will work. Let's go into this campaign here. I'll click content. And here is our image. Of course, you can make it smaller and bigger. But if you click this image, or if you hover over it and click this pencil, you will see this little sidebar. This is for editing the image with our third party editor. But if you want to change the image, just go ahead and click image. And this will look very similar to what we just saw a moment ago. The difference is that now you don't have the copy URL button here, but you can actually select these images. So if you click select, voila, that image has changed. So those are the two ways you can access and manage all your image files. And that's it for now. Thanks for watching this little tutorial and as usual, I'll see you in the next video. Hey, thanks for watching the video. Please click subscribe, use the little bell icon. You can also catch us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and of course, use the little subscribe link in the description to sign up to our newsletter. Thanks again and see you in the next video.